Okay, gang, welcome back to Corner Cupboard. And here is the final third part of the twine rug and how to finish. Um, you need to end up in the center of this rug. Now, if you remember, you know, you can go back and see the first two videos of how to lace your frame and how to get started on doing your twined rug. You want to do half of your rug and then flip this frame over and then do the other end because you want to end here in the center. Let's see, I have the top half strings here and the bottom half strings here. And I have one space left right here. Now this final row of lacing, you're going to need a pair of needle nose pliers. Never figured you'd need tools for a rug. But you're going to need these because this hole gets real small and it's very hard to use your fingers to get these to go in and behind and do your twisting to get this in there. But what's going to happen at this point, when you're on your last hole right here, I've met right here from both ends, you want to take these and you want to push them into the back because this is the front of your rug. And you want to push Make sure you get that twist in there because you want to make sure that you continue. See, like here you can see my lacing cord right here. You want to make sure you get the twist over and then shove those to the back. Like this. Now these two pieces right here, you want to come in on this back. You want to go back one right here. And that's where it gets real difficult, and your needle nose pliers will do the job and will get that back there for you without you hurting your fingers or getting any cramps. And then do the same on this one. You want to find that, that stitch right here, and you want to shove that to the back. And you want to get them back there so that way your stitch looks like the rest of it. So, uh, you know, unless you turn the rug upside down and on the back, you're not really going to know where your rug started and where it ended. Now see, it's all gone. It looks like the rest of this. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to flip this over and to the back. So... Pardon me while I do a flip. Here we go. Now here's where you can see my final ties are right back here. So you want to match up your two pairs and give that a really tight knot. like this and make them pretty tight because you don't want that to stand out. These will flatten down as as it gets walked on. And then of course you want to come in and you want to cut all these off. I didn't grab the sharpest scissors I own. I just grabbed a pair. There we go. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of where well, you can see where I made all my joins of material. They're all back here on the back, like this. And this is how you tell the back from the front because you want to, when you're weaving, where you join your pieces of material, you want to push these to the back side. So that way the front has very few of them and the back has a lot of them. So we're going to do one more flip. like this. Yeah, I have a few on the front, but not too many. Overall, the rug came out really good. Let me back this up so you can see it. See, that came out pretty awesome. I, I kind of like that. Really like this rug. Goes to my sister in Kentucky because she wanted a rug for her kitchen. So here we go. Now here's where if you're going to put fringe on this rug, 
you need to have your fringe pre-made whether you do if you do yarn make yourself a cardboard template and have your fringe already cut because as soon as we take this rug off this loom it's going to start pulling in now if you go back and watch the second video where I show you how to start weaving I told I told you to come as close to this post as you can get because that's the least amount of material that has to get pulled in because when you loom this what's going to happen is you're going to pull this material so tight that when I start pulling this off these loops are going to start pulling in and they're going to disappear which is why the material that I strung this loom with is also the material I started with so you won't be able to tell where my lacing is now on this loom like I told you in the first one there are these metal pieces on the end you really want to make sure you have them this is kind of hard to do one-handed so I might have to have my husband come over here and pull this out so you're going to pull that metal beam out. Okay, there's one. And now we're going to come over here and we're going to do this one. See, now the second one pulls much easier once you get the tension off. Now here's where it gets interesting. You start pulling. Oh, he can do that. And you're going to start lifting those off. Now, if you don't want fringe on this rug, the bottom ones slide off pretty easy once the tension is gone. Now, if you don't want fringe on this rug, don't worry about these loops. Set it down. You can lay it down somewhere clean. Um, you can take and start rolling this up, which will force these loops to go in. In a day or so, these loops will be completely gone and you'll not see them. So there you go. One full finished twined rug. Thanks for watching.